Hey guys, Taco Mage here, coming at you again real quick for another Steam Boiler Spotlight. Uh, this week I'm going to show you the dark side of the Steam Boiler, and that is how to totally cheat with it. And it's easier than you might think. The key words that I used last week was that any and all furnace fuels work in a Steam Boiler. So here, we have a Steam Boiler hooked up to a fluid transposer that's taking lava from a lava fabricator putting it into buckets and then just shipping it right into the steam boiler. And believe it or not, that actually gives you, if we bring this guy up back here, gives you a positive energy flow. In fact, this positive energy flow is about 300,000 RF per bucket. And that's net gain. It's You actually get about 500,000 RF per bucket just doing it straight like this. And you lose about 200,000, or you lose 200,000 of that to lava fabrication. To make that bucket so again infinite energy this is just the same two dynamo setup that i uh, that i was using last week to show you how to set up the red net cables uh, speaking of which if we come over here this one i've got the red net set up with it and again we got lava buckets in this dropper uh, red net cables set to uh, 185 seconds that's about right you can tweak it up a little bit from there but 185 is nice and round and it does give you that nice net positive gain. This has been running a while so it's actually maxed on temp. Uh, but again, producing that 800 RF per tick and this actually gives you a net gain of about 2.8 million RF per bucket. So when timed at three minutes like this, you are getting three million RF per bucket. Uh, that's just crazy. And again, you're fabricating the lava just off the energy that you're making in your system so it's free energy uh, completely closed loop system and if you're kind of following where I'm going with this you know what I'm about to turn around to so if you get enough of these together sure enough you can for free power a big reactors turbine and in fact if we go in here you see 200 millibuckets or 2000 millibuckets per tick is going in getting 9000 energy out again this is not a very good reactor i just built it real fast just to show you a proof of concept uh, you could build a much better reactor where you would get 24 to 25000 rf per tick maybe even a little bit more and but even even just at 9000 this is producing more than enough to run this entire setup and i've got six steam boilers in here you actually only need five but i like to have six just in case there's like a little uh, drop out or something weird happens and you need just that little extra steam if we look in here you can see again fully temperatured up this has been running for a couple of days now while i, I had it set up and then i just needed time to film uh, so lava fabricator going away got our fluid transposer and you got your droppers just junking them right down into the steam boilers uh, and again red net controlled so i'm getting that full three minutes per per bucket in each steam boiler and you'll notice that I've got a chunk loader here. Now this brings me to something kind of weird about the steam boiler. They do not work all that well in a chunk that is unloaded and been, and been reloaded again. It's There's some sort of weird chunk detection that causes them to fluctuate and kind of strobe and not put out full, full steam. Uh, and a good example of that, again, if we come back here, we see it's just 2,000 millibuckets per tick going in there. If we break this chunk loader, even though we ourselves are, we are loading the chunk just by being in it, if we come over here, we will see, see how that's dropping out a little bit? And it's going to kill your, your turbine controller. And I'm not really sure what causes that. It's just a little kind of goofy glitch in the steam boiler, just as the ability to endlessly create lava in order to steam boil is a little glitch. Uh, so if you're going to do this, you're going to need a chunk loader. If you don't have access to chunk loaders, then what you're going to have to do is put some sort of uh, like fluid cache in the middle here, a fluid buffer, I should say, sort of like a bedrockium drum. That way your steam comes out, fills the bedrockium drum, and then goes out to the, to the big reactor here. Uh, for some reason, this bug doesn't seem to affect too much the dynamo setups. It's just when doing a lot of steam like that. It may be that there's just not enough steam in those systems to be uh, affected by these little drops out and sputters. Now, 
That said, again, if you're going with a system that's dropping out and sputtering like that with a cache, you're only going to be able to run this turbine at about uh, 1,700 millibuckets per tick. You won't get up to 2,000. I did uh, some quite extensive testing on this, and 1,700, 1,720 actually was about the sweet spot where you're just breaking even. But again, uh, loading and unloading the chunks really does mess with that, so your best bet if you can get one is just toss it on the chicken chunks and keep it loaded. When you do that, no problem at all, runs perfectly. As you can see over here, I've got a mechanism induction, and <laughs> all the time it's been running, it's only put together 18 gig RF. I say only. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, that's the dark side of the MFR steam boiler. It can be easily abused to produce just crazy amounts of free power. Now, that's not to say there aren't other easy ways to get free power, such as the MFR mining laser set up with yellow crystals to produce yellorium, and then your turbine set up, but this is just actually a lot easier and a lot cheaper to get going. But, um, as I said, it's not really all that bad compared to some of the other ones out there, but it is pretty bad. Uh, to to a point where I actually did bug report this, so don't expect it to stick around forever. But if you're a person who likes to play around with exploits and, and stuff like that, this might be something for you. For my part, I like to find them, but I don't really like to use them when I'm actually playing, so you will not be seeing this this particular endless loop exploit in my Infinity Fortress series. You will see me using lava to power steam boilers, but I won't be fabricating it. I will be getting my lava from a, from a more legitimate source. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's just a little dark side, little peek at what you can actually do with these things. Um, so do with it what you want. Uh, otherwise, uh, I've been Taco Mage, and I hope you guys have a good night. Later.